I was about that for a delivery service. Right, there's the engine swinging, so all I have to do now is get them three plates on there somehow fixed onto here. Get it up and have a look anyway. So we've had the engine up here and done a bit of a fit. We're going to put, we've plasmed out these plates, just picked up a few existing holes and then we're going to offer the, offer the engine up to it to match up to the brackets and then uh, weld it on, drop a few brackets on and hopefully that should be what's swinging. in the air and see what it does. So kids, don't really try this at home unless you've got some very strong to hold your engine on. Some very thick sets of metal to connect your engine to it. We've sort of got five, sorry, four 716s here, two 716s here, and an additional two 716s underneath there. There's eight bolts holding that. This is the Mark II version of, on other engines that I've done. I tried to make see that there, it did have. There was another one of them that bolted on here. And then this piece here um, came across there and it was some kind of thing I'd invented to try to turn the engine that direction. But um, yeah. It wasn't very successful. We got it round in the end, but we just had to had to put the the front of the crank somehow in the crane and hold it up. It was a bit pants, but uh, yeah, sometimes you don't have a lot of choice, do you? But yeah, now we've got the uh, engine Rollomatic 2000, whatever it's called. <laughs> 